Good is good, good is your boys are back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about oh 2k put the galaxy opal Dwayne Wade in the pack market today for 149,000 MT. This is bad and and I want you guys to understand why I'm I'm kind of down on this. Now before we dive any further into it, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button on the road towards 130,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. D Wade was in this right here. He was available via the triple threat offline vault for absolutely free. Uh, quite a few people actually got him if you did play a decent amount of triple threat offline for free a couple of people got him for free uh out of the vault uh and and just from playing the game could get him for absolutely free then without any notice 2k decided to put these playoff deluxe and playoff base packs when they came in the pack market they put them in modes so you know will chamberlain was in your clutch time offline guess what not anymore you got a playoffs deluxe pack in Unlimited, Clay Thompson was available. Now, you got a Playoffs Deluxe Pack. Which, look, do I do I think it's... I, I just wish they would have given us a warning. Like, you know what? They're in the vault for this amount of time, and then it's going to change. And then, let's say the Playoff Deluxe Packs are in the vault for a certain amount of times. And then, let us know when they're going to change. I just feel like them changing without updating us on what's going on is horrible. But then it all makes sense. Because 2K wanted to put Dwayne Wade in the pack market for MT purposes. No, 149,000 MT isn't honestly at this stage of the game that much MT. But let's not act like Dwayne Wade is a fantastic point guard. Because he's not. I, and, and that's just my pure honest opinion. Dwayne Wade's not better than SGA. He's not better than Gilbert. He's not better than this Steph Curry. I'll be honest with you. He's not better than James Harden. He's not even better than the free locker code Jason King. And so today, he's not better than Devin Booker. So if today... You decide to load up the game and spend 149,000 MT on an unsellable Galaxy over Dwayne Wade. I don't know what to tell you. And I know there's going to be so many comments. Ty, you've got 3.4 million MT. You can't be the one telling us to what to spend our MT on and what not to spend your MT on. You know what? I'll say this. Instead of spending 149,000 for a bad point guard, open up this right here. And and, 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 and and see what you can pull. Like, I, I would much rather you guys do that. Now, obviously, you're probably not going to pull anything. I'd much rather encourage you guys to wait till tomorrow if you want to open packs. But at least when you open packs, yes, it's gambling, whatever. Like, it's wrong. But you're getting more for your value. Because you can turn around if you don't pull the guy you want and sell everything you do pull. And again, I'd wait for tomorrow. The Vortex set really was bad. Uh, but that's just kind of my recommendation. Dwayne Wade is not good. And 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 even Hakeem. Hakeem is actually really good. So, like, you could make the case he's worth it. But Dwayne Wade for this price is horrible. He's just horrible. And, uh, and, and I know you guys are probably like, Ty, there's nothing else to really buy in the player market. And you know what? You're kind of right. Uh, and I'm not going to argue that. But even on the same train of thought, like, you can buy DeMontis a bonus for that and resell him whenever you get tired of him. And that is way more worth it. I'd rather you guys go buy Devin Booker. Go buy Dyson Daniels. Go buy those type of cards if you do want to spend your MT on an actual guy to get to help your squad. Dwayne Wade, I know he's a Galaxy Opal, and so a lot of people probably are like, Ty, I can get a Galaxy Opal. But remember, he's unsellable. So you're never getting that MT back, and Dwayne Wade truly is not great. Like, even compared to Pink Diamond, Dyson, Daniels, and Devin Booker, is Dwayne Wade better than those guys? Maybe. But if he is, it's by such a small margin that I don't think it's really worth your time or worth worrying about. And that's, that's the one thing for me. It's like, first of all, he was free. And that's what really rubs me the wrong way. Like, he was free a week ago. All you had to do is win triple third offline. Now, I did win like 110, 120 games, and I never saw Dwayne Wade. So, I mean, how prevalent was he? I don't know. But there were quite a few people who did see Dwayne Wade and got Dwayne Wade. So, again, I can't sit here and say like he was super common, but there were people that did get him. And I, and I, I think that needs to be recognized. Now, within that, now... 2K is basically putting him behind a, uh, it's not super expensive, but behind a paywall, an MT wall. And it's just sad to me. Like, I, I'm i glad they're giving us at least some Opals for MT, but the Opals they're giving us for MT are bad. Last week, what did we see? Carl Anthony Towns? Is that what we saw last Thursday? I'm pretty sure it was. He's not good for the MT. 
And, uh, and, and that's the thing. Give us some usable Galaxy Opals. Give us the Kobe's. Give us the D-Rob's. Uh, D-Rob was obviously free for part of this season as well. Give us the, uh, you know, uh, th these Opals were horrible, but Iggy's. Iggy's really good. Give us the Hansboro. Give us the, you know, uh, Danny Fairies of the world. Give us cards that we couldn't have got for free a week ago. And then give us better cards. D-Wade is one of the worst Opals in the entire game. D-Wade three years ago was good. This year, he's mid at best. I don't know what to tell you guys. If you buy this the way way today, it's it's wrong. Like it's it's just not a good personal decision. Now, if your biggest favorite player is Dwayne Wade, then ultimately do what you gotta do. But again, 2K gave us a locker code for a Galaxy Opal Jason kid, who I'm a firm believer is better than Dwayne Wade, what, a couple of weeks ago? And now they want us to turn around and spend 150,000 MT on Dwayne Wade? That's not worth it at all. And uh, and again, there are uh, you know way worse things that you can do with your MT. But the worst part about it is he's unsellable. I wouldn't even mind it if you could sell him for, I don't even know what he goes for anymore, 90,000 MT, let's say. I wouldn't mind it, because guess what? Then uh, if you buy him and you don't like him, you can sell him for a decent amount. But the fact of the matter is this. You're throwing 150,000 MT basically down the drain if you decide to click this X button right here. That's just the reality of the situation. Worst part about it is, there's really nothing else to spend your MT on. And I think that's what rubs me the wrong way the most is it's like, a lot of people are like, Ty, there's nothing else to spend my MT on. I get it, but it's like this. It, it'd be like this. Oh, because you know, you're a billionaire and you have all this money, shouldn't you spend it? Well, not on things that are not worth spending it on. Like that's just my mindset with things. So that's one of the reasons I have 3.4 million MT. And that's one of the reasons I don't really care. It's gonna continue to go up and people can clown me all they want. Eventually, if there is a good pack drop, I'll probably buy some of these, uh, some packs and just, you know, hope for the best. But if you think I'm going to do a gameplay of any of the other pack cards or cards behind gambling, it's just not going to happen. Everything right now in this game is bad. And again, I'm not trying to be negative because it's it's what to expect. Take-Two had to fire 5% of their employees, and that stinks for everybody that did get laid off. I'd never wish that upon anybody. But there's a big-time problem going on in this game, and 2K needs to realize it and figure it out. D-Wade... Not worth your time, not worth your MT, not worth anything today. And, and, and if this video can help one person not open this up and spend their MT on it, I hope it does. Because that's my ultimate goal. Not worth the 150,000 MT for an unsellable card. That's going to wrap it up for our video. Let me know your thoughts on D-Wade down below in the comments. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.